All right, so here we have Lego Jurassic World Dominion set 76945, the Atrociraptor Dinosaur Bike Chase, which is a set that I'm happy I got to second because that last set really was trash. <laughs> Even though there's a lot to complain and a lot to critique in this sort of set, there's also a lot to like, so I think we should just get into it. We'll get rid of, like I said before, the characters. First up, we have Rain Delacourt. Which is a character... Actually, I should probably bring the light down a little bit closer so I make it... So I a little better? A little bit. Yeah, it's still a little hard to make out some of the details, but it looks a little better than last time. So Rain Delacorte, we got this sort of interesting zebra pattern variant of him because... I don't know if it's fate. I don't know if it's zebra. It's just like a striped shirt in general. But it is like an actual, like, unique look. Unique version of him compared to, you know, the other one. I actually went to go grab like my sets, and I grabbed the wrong one. I had to like look at it, like that that that, that undershirt doesn't match. So it's kind of interesting. We got like two different, you know, like a different version of him. So at least they're giving us a justification for having multiple. That unlike uh, oh no, here I guess he this is a different Owen too. But we'll look at that. He's got dark gun, and with like with all the Jurassic Dominion sets, for some reason they got yellow instead of green darts. So I guess because amber something. I don't know. He's got, you see on his face, he's got a little headpiece, like a little earpiece right there. Some brown hair, also notable because, again, a lot of characters get snuffed on their proper colored hair in Lego sets these days for some reason. So I guess that's nice. And we got yet another one on a pretty nice looking motorcycle, I'm not going to lie, I like the motorcycle. It's a very good motorcycle, but I'm pretty sure this is the own we got with like multiple sets in previous waves, so it's not exactly all that exciting, it's just... Owen, for the 30th time. <laughs> whoop de doo And then we can talk about the dinosaurs, which... Atrociraptor is one that I'm very, very mixed on. I think I've made my opinions on it very clear, but just for the sake of this video, in case this is the only thing someone saw regarding me and the Atrociraptors, I think they messed these up big time. The model isn't bad. I think it's a great model. They did a good job sculpting this and making it look good. But the problem isn't the model. It's the size of the model compared to the regular blue. Because if we know there's going to be a fight between the Atrociraptors and Blue at some point in this movie. And with... Let me just grab one. I know it's not the right one, but I don't know where the right blue is. So if we set Atrociraptor, I think this is Ghost, right? They don't say the names of them on the box for some reason. And we compare it to Fallen Kingdom Blue... We can see an extreme size discrepancy that is really annoying. At the very least, I'm using the better blue. I like Fallen Kingdom Blue the best. Bite me. <laughs> but if they're supposed to have a fight, this 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 ain't this ain't a fair fight. This is a one-sided ass kicking with a with a size like this. If they were gonna go with a small size for the Atrociraptors, they should have made blue the same size by comparison. They should have kept the Atrociraptor in blue the same size and should have stuck to a choice. Either make the Atrociraptor the size of the Pyroraptor and blue to go with it, or make blue the regular size and make the Atrociraptor just fit with it. Instead, they went with this completely backwards idea of creatures that are going to fight in the movie being completely uh, unable to fight in any legitimate capacity in real life. Or, in the, or at least in the Lego form. It's just, it's, this thing is so tiny compared to blue, it's not even funny. So it's not necessarily that the Atrociraptor is bad. It's that it's bad compared to context from the movie, scenes we're going to get that we're not going to recreate because of the way they've done this. So it's a bit hard to judge this model by itself. It's good on its own, but compared to the ability to recreate scenes from the movie and shots and whatnot that, you know, you know, you want to set up displays that represent things from the movie. It's just, it's just a fun way to do things. And unfortunately, we can't with this, so. Uh, it's just a little disappointing. Perhaps we could just grab an Atrociraptor and recolor it like blue or something. Paint it ourselves because Lego just couldn't, just couldn't have like a single decision. They had to go wishy-washy with it. So yeah. That's my complicated uh, opinion on the Atrociraptors, because it's, it's going to be the same for the other one, too. I forget the name of the other one that's going to be coming in, but yeah. Uh, but if we bring this a little closer, we can also look at the baby dinosaurs that come with this, which I also am going to complain about in my uh, 
my review of the blue capture set because these should have been what uh, beta was. Instead they wasted a mold on beta when they could have used one of these little baby dinos. That would have been way better at doing beta and saving a mold for a much more valuable creature like not Pseudoceratops or Allosaurus. I like the new colors. The purple and brown looks pretty nice. And the little green one over here really reminds me of a Lost World T-Rex and I'm always a big fan of Lost World T-Rexes. So, you know, Lost World male T-Rex. Not Jurassic Park 3 male T-Rex. That's fine, but I like the Lost World one better. And so with all of that discussed, I think the babies are pretty good. The Trosraptor is good if you ignore the fact that it's completely the wrong size. Eh, well, not, I mean, technically it's the right size compared to the minifigures, but blue isn't, so... You know, it's, it's all a bunch of complicated nonsense. Now this set itself. This set is one of the cheaper ones. And unlike some of the, a lot of the larger sets, I think this build actually does a good job justifying its price. I think this is actually one of the better builds, ironically. And it's like super small. It's very compact, very nice, gets a lot of detail. For some reason you can spin this around like a carousel. I'm not sure what the point of that is at all whatsoever. But it is what it is. You got a little like stand with the dinosaur in the cage. It's just, it's just, it's nice. Got a little, like, dinosaur skull over here. It's got some amber above the dinosaurs, babies. You got a lamp. And then the play features, which... Get in the box. There we go. It's just that this part is easily detachable, as is this, so that you can have the truss after sort of bust through. You know, chase them down, boom, fucking crash through the wall type of stuff. It's not It's not bad for a play feature. For such a small set. I think, I think, I think they did a decent job with that. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty good representation of the Malta scene. A lot better than the bigger one that we're going to talk about eventually, but yeah. So, with this set, I'd have to say I like it more than a lot of other sets, and I don't know if that's just personal bias because it was so cheap, and yet I think it offers... I think it's just because it's so cheap it offers good value for the price, unlike a lot of other sets in this sort of Jurassic World Dominion wave. And I'd have to give this one a solid gold medal. I don't think it's worthy of a platinum... Uh, I'm not sure if any of them are worthy of a platinum, save for maybe one, but this one did an admirable job with a small price point, even if they really messed up the pi the yeah, not part, but the Atrociraptors. I still say it was pretty good. I think this is one of the sets that I think you know you really should try to go out and get if you're gonna be getting any Dominion Lego sets. This is one of the better ones, in my opinion. That's it.